me clicking all these buttons here to get this working. So yes, was you teased? Mm. Was you teased to come back about my theory regarding the uh, the cre uh, the creepers? Right now, this is this is my theory. So you got to bear with me on this one because it's kind of way out there. But if you know what I'm on about, you know it makes sense. If you look at now, right? Let me. This Minecraft, it's set in the future. That's what it is. It's set about five, six hundred years in the future. And I'll tell you for why. Because the creepers, believe it or not, were originally cucumbers. And I'll tell you why. <laughs> um, I love stupid funny videos on youtube i could sit watching them. my first video ever that i watched on youtube was uh, a brazilian one uh with a skeleton on a motorbike chasing people but it wasn't ch well you know anyway uh so a while ago somebody recommended to me or got recommended or somebody mentioned i can't really remember uh cats and cucumbers uh, it's not a euphemism for anything. It's an actual thing. Cats and cucumbers. And basically what it is, for some weird reason... What am I doing? For some weird reason, cats don't like cucumbers. Now, what's happened, as I said, my cat is like 500,000 years into the future. The cats have evolved along with the cucumbers because the cucumbers got brave rats and all that kind of stuff. So, this is now why the cats evolved, so that they're not frightened of cucumbers anymore. This is now why uh, creepers are frightened of cats, because it's all turned round. That's my theory, and I'm sticking with it. So, thumbs up if you agree, <laughs> like and share, and add a comment. <laughs> I just, that just makes me laugh when I hear that. So... I'm going to say it. I don't care. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Oh, before I start the channel, like I say, initially it was just going to be about me. So uh, this is something where I think it's kind of... It's kind of like that drawer. That you have to, I, think, I don't know if it's a British thing or what. Uh, I, we call it something. <laughs> this drawer in the kitchen. But I will say the rubbish drawer. It's way people are rubbish in. Not literal rubbish, it's like, you know. But I don't actually call it that in real life. What I call it begins with S. But I'm a little bit refined before, you know, cocktails. <laughs> so, yeah, that drawer. Uh, that's what I was going to use YouTube as. Because, like I said in another video, I will play the games, And then I'm sat thinking, oh, I don't want the clutter on my computer. Don't get me wrong, it's not some high-end expensive computer kind of thing i think i paid for it where did i get it i got it last year this month. no i'll tell you when i got it it was uh march april we'd just gone into lockdown here in uh britain and you know we had the drama of those first couple of weeks my broadband went down that was just so bad that was just unreal no broadband before they had to sort out the, uh, the thing in, with Europe, you know, the sharing and then because there's millions and millions of people working from home and I thought I'd be alright so the broadband went down that kind of stressed me out a bit and I was without broadband for I think it was about four days something like that and I sorted it out bloody BT as well could you imagine? I mean you'd expect it if it was like Sky or Talk to Hook <laughs> That little analogy of the broadband. But no, uh, so anyway, got it back. I was like, oh, yeah, my broadband's back. Thank God for that. I did drama of it all. And then what happened? My computer, the one before this, I just <laughs> gave up the ghost for no reason whatsoever. I remember uh, the night before I'd watched whatever I was watching, went to bed, got up, flicked it on. Because I was check, I was still at work then. Because uh, I was put on furlough. Uh, went to bed. 
got up in the morning for work, usual thing, had a tea, made a brew, sat down, checking the email, trying to check my emails, and it just, that was it, it was go, gone. Not a, not, nothing coming from it whatsoever. So, uh, I did what any normal person would do. Uh, I phoned up my cousin, who's 11, <laughs> told him, and he's like, now nah, it's gone. This, so he's asking me to do all this stuff. Do this, do this. Let me tell you now, the secret to happiness with your uh, technical stuff is make sure you have a, a young cousin, brother, nephew, whatever. They know all this stuff. They will help you out. So anyway, he was saying that. Now it's uh, give up the ghost. Gone. That's it. I need a new one. I think I had the old one for about seven or eight years. And that was that. So I thought, oh my God. God, and the stress and the panic of it all. So I went to work that day. Everything was shut down. Now, contemplating building one, but like I say, we was in lockdown. I was classed as a uh, someone who could come and go because of my job. Uh, I'm a stripper. <laughs> no, I'm not at all. <laughs> the rumour starts spreading now. So he said he was a stripper. What's your stage name? Yeah. I'm not telling you. <laughs> LBW. If you know what that means, you know what that means. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, everything was shut down. I was like, oh my Jesus, where am I going to get you know, something? Uh, and I was contemplating. Now, I'm not knocking anybody who's got it and getting a Apple computer, but I really don't like them at all. Don't like them. I'm not one of these people that like gets things because it's fashionable or like, oh this is the best thing and I've got to have this. No, I get it for me. I don't care what you think, what you want, you know. Uh, if you're like, if you can't live your life without the the latest whatever phone or whatever piece of whatever equipment or what, you know, good on you. Me, I do it. I will ride a thing until the wheels fall off. If my let me tell you my last phone I think I had it for about 8 years before even that gave up Android it's like no what's, I'm paying money for a new one what the hell So I said to someone ages ago I was chatting uh, and she was going on about it this friend of mine has just recently moved to America Mississippi and she was going on about oh they got this wonderful thing in America I was like what is it she said it's coupons I said like, oh what do they do <laughs> So she was telling me, so she says, uh, there's a show that you can watch called uh, Extreme Coupon, and it's been on ages ago, I was like, all right, then I'll give it a go, and uh, why don't we have coupons here in Britain, can somebody please tell me, there are people on there getting a thousand dollars worth of food shopping, and they get paid to get it, because of these coupon things, so I'm like, oh my God in heaven, so yeah. That's me. I will keep a thing. I don't care. I'm going to tell you something right now over there. I've got a VHS video still. It doesn't work. It just can't be. It fills a gap. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, what am I doing? I'm building an house, aren't I? Attempting to. Out of what? Have I got a stone? Let me just cast my mind around whose house I can imagine that I've seen them build. Right, we'll go stone and wood at the corners. I can remember who this one was. I can rem remember certain people that I watch. Now, what way do we want the hills behind us? Or the yeah, we'll face the village. Uh, yeah, certain people who. How many people? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ooh, eleven is it? Lovely. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven. Why nine? Look at that. That's amazing. Ain't being. It's not gonna be that big. Let me do nine by seven. Uh, so that'll be there. There. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there's certain people. That I, you've got to have the personality. No, not necessarily. I was going to say you've got to have the personality for me because if if you get me with your personality, I'll sit and watch your videos. Do you know, even if you just 
waffling on about, I don't know, taking the dry skin off your feet. <laughs> Ooh. I don't want the darn thing. Oh. oh, it's a sheep. It was just my eyes are up there. So what's that white thing there? Is it a cloud? <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was a cloud. But as you can see, I turned the clouds off. And there's a guy that I watch. Uh, wait, wait. That's where the front door's going in. I know there's people out there saying, look at you with all that kind of sh shite that you've got on, on there. Just gotta make stones and bricks and what have you. This is temporary. It's temporary. This is not my main, not gonna be the main house because like I said, I'm hopeless. It's, uh, it's temporary, I don't care. <laughs> this is gonna be just a rectangle. There you go, there's gonna be nothing fancy with it. Boof. Like I said, this is not an episode of Home Improvements or none of the rubbish, it'll do me for now. It probably might not even have windows. Do I care? No. And this person uh, that I watch, uh, who does some really, really good houses, I th his name is Jay Wisp, if you want to check him out. Uh, he's really, really good. I watch a lot of, um, there we go. Now this is what, i get rid of that because I don't like that at all. Oh, here we are. Here we are now. Look at this. Gold in the door. Trump Towers eat your heart out. Look at that. <laughs> is that my gold bed? Oh my goodness. I changed my last name to Trump, shouldn't I? No, I won't. You've got no chance. That means something totally different in this country. You ask anybody from Britain what Trump means, they'll tell you. Means passing gas. To Trump means to pass gas. Right, we need a door. I'll only do half of these as uh, bits. Is the door six? Is one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. That there, that there. I know you're all absolutely fascinated watching me make a dog's dinner of this thing. See, look at the tightness of me. I found that diamond over there a while back. Them emeralds. I can't remember where I got them from. Uh, that obsidian and that. I ain't letting that out my sight. <laughs> Wonderful look at that uh, home sweet. Is that uh oh look at that I need a thing there. Like I said, this is uh, a temporary home. There's a bit of carry underwood for you there. And it's in my temporary wonderful <laughs> voice like an angel, haven't I? <laughs> Fallen angel, but you know. Uh now let me just, let me just put some little bits of fire up here, light, what have you, because uh, all the creatures coming out at me in the night time, and especially them spiders. Right, let me just, oh, the door can go up there, out the way. See, now what I've got to do as well, I've got me a, uh, I've got to make a couple of buckets. Did I pick this thing up? No, it's, I better bring all this stuff in here as well, haven't I? Well, I can sit there for now. Oh, Chino, what you stupid ass? Where's that gone? Oh, there it is. <laughs> mm hmm. Yes, what I need to do is make a couple of buckets. Two, uh, uh. 
So I can get some water, clear the land, do a bit of farming, and then once I've got enough food, I mean, I've got 27 bread, so I might not need them. Uh, got a few bits and bats going. Food. There's my alarm going off there. Uh, it's time for my nap. <laughs> uh, it's pretty sad. Uh, I'm going to have to get some stuff. Uh, I'll go to that. Oh, mind you, know what I'll do? I can go to that mine down here, can't I? Uh, get some ores. Do that just to clear out any stuff that might be down there. Out my way. Yeah, get some ores. Uh, but first what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this for now, come back and uh, get a little, f oh well, you can get bits when it's doing that, get a little bit of farming going, nothing fancy, uh, get some wheat going, I want to run over to the village and see if I can get my carrot as I was saying ages before uh, and that's what I'll do, so uh, I'll see you in a bit. Cheerio.